Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another episode of Baba's Talk Show. And I'm Hussein Baba. Now today I have a very interesting topic. It is going around the whole nation. Uh, this topic is very, very important. And I have a, a guest here with me today. And um, so he's going to explain a bit more about this topic that we're going to discuss about. So today I have uh, Edward Sinner. How are you? Good, lovely. Lovely to meet you. Same here, yeah, same way. Uh, very nice of you to join us today. Thank you. And uh, I know you're very busy. I'll not keep you long. Uh, a brief information about Eddie. He's, of course, uh, he's, he have a, a background in the uh, people of uh, First Nation. Yes. And also he's a lecturer at the Griffith University. I uh, specialize in law, specifically on constitutional law. Yes, okay. constitutional law and indigenous people. Oh, good. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So you're the right person I can talk to. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You see... Um, Many of us have been hearing for the last couple of months about this referendum. Mm. Uh, some of us, we still need to know a bit more about it. Uh, can you explain what is the significance of this referendum? Yeah, so the main significance is after 235 years right. of, of a testy, broken relationship, right. we're looking at recognising Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in the constitution. Okay. Uh, so that's important not only from a symbolic recognition point, right. but about ensuring Aboriginal people's voices are heard when it comes to the decisions that are made about them. Okay. And so that's, you know, it's quite significant in our nation's history. Right. We've had a very troubled relationship right. uh, that, you know, related to the dispossession and the policies that were made against our people. Right. And so this is about taking a step forward as Australian people, being able to recognise that history in the place of First Peoples, right. but also being able to do something practical by giving or ensuring that our voices are heard on the decisions made about us. Okay. Now, Eddie, the other question would be, don't we have representative in Senate or the Parliament who speak on behalf of the people of First Nation? Yeah, we do. So we currently have 11 First Nations members of federal parliament. Right. And then I believe there's 26 across the country if you take into account state okay. and uh, territory uh, parliaments as well. Hmm. The problem or, or the better point is they're not there as Indigenous representatives. Okay. They're there as members of Parliament to represent their electorate, so the local area we're in, right. or they're there as members to represent the Senate, so right. the state that they're elected to represent. Mm. They're not there as Indigenous people, as representatives of Indigenous people or through recognition of Indigenous issues. So what we're talking about is having independent community representation for the Indigenous community based on that fact that we are the first peoples of this country right. and that, that means something substantive right. and that we have particular issues that need to be addressed. Okay, and um, so it's on the 14th of October. Yes, 14th of October, less than a month. Very already. important day, please remember it's 14th of October. Now, if it goes ahead with yes, mm. so what happened? So for most Australians, yes. nothing. Okay. Nothing real in the sense, nothing's going to be taken away from you. Nothing's going to be, you know, it's, t you know, no land, no taxes, nothing like that. Yes. But importantly for all Australians, it'll be turning a new leaf or a new chapter. All right. And I think that is important for who we are and how we see ourselves, how the world receives ourselves. Right. As well, and the kind of community that we want to live in. For Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people especially, and I think for many people that want to have a better relationship with us. Yes. It's fundamentally important to be able to move forward and drive that change. Right. But it also gives us that guarantee that we'll be able to have a say on decisions made about us, which we don't have at the moment. Right. That's one of the main causes of the many issues that continue to happen in our communities. Okay. And Eddie, of course, we've been talking about people of First Nation. Mm -hmm. What about people who came after that, that like like a multicultural migrants? Yes. That it really helps this yes word, that it helps there. Uh, I think it absolutely does. I think Australia should be proud of its multicultural history. Mm -hmm. uh, migrants come from all over the world for mm -hmm. many different reasons, often fleeing conflict. Right. And we've been able to create one of the most vibrant multicultural communities in the world. We live variously in a safe, democratic country that enables us to celebrate our diversity. Right. But we still have that missing piece when it comes to our First Peoples. And I think the issues of connection, mm -hmm. of culture, of community are ones that migrants understand very well, right. having come from the backgrounds and the experiences that they do. Right. And I think they understand also what the impact of a no vote here could be as well, on the sense of who we are, how we relate to one another, and how we accept diversity and community. So I think it's vitally important for that sense of community going forward that we're able to come together and get this done. Good. Okay. What is the impact of no vote? 
Well, that impact of the no vote, you know, I think just try to think what it would be like waking up on the 15th of October, the day after and the nation having voted no. Yeah. Very simply, we're asking as the oldest civilization in the world that right. our voices be heard. Okay. It's not about division. Yeah. It's not about any of that. It's about walking together in unity, addressing the very real issues that we have. Right. And about being able to do that together as a community. Right. And I think if we were to reject that hand of friendship and invitation right. out to, to other Australians, that would have an impact on um, the social fabric of the idea of community and who we are. Right. It wouldn't end everything. We're, right. we're a democracy, we're a vibrant community, we'd be able to continue. Right. But it is going to make a relationship difficult. And I think we need to be able to move forward on a basis of respect and dignity that comes from recognition. Right. And I think that is the important point here, that we don't want to be in a situation where that handout has been rejected. True, true. You see, <clears throat> people, the viewers know my, uh, I have a slogan, no matter where you come from, no matter what language you speak, no matter what your religious beliefs are, at the end of the day, we are all brothers and sisters yes. in humanity. Yes. Therefore, we should respect each other, extend love and care, and be compassionate to one another. So this is what I've been, let's say, preaching mm. for the last five years. And what I hear from you, Eddie, is that um, we can, <clears throat> eventually fall into those lines that I just mentioned yes. and carry on as fellow Australians. Mm. As you mentioned, there's no division. Uh, we'll have a better understanding of different culture. Uh, we respect each other's culture and still we carry on as fellow Australians, right? Yes. And uh, of course, the important days is 14th of October. And um, so you made the decision. He has made a decision. Yes. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Yes. Is it they have to go to the booth or they're online? Just I'd go to the booth. You can vote early as well. So okay. early polling booths will open next week. So you yes. have three weeks leading in. Right. So just like a normal federal election. Right. Go to the booth. So what they say? Tick yes. Do you have a no? Tick? So there'll be a question. Yes. And there'll be a box underneath it. And yes. You have to write yes or no. Okay. You have to write the actual, actual word yes, yes or, or no. no. Okay. Yeah. Remember that. Okay. Well, Wish you all the best. And uh, Eddie, thank you for coming to the show. Thank and you. then we'll see you next time. Maybe talk after the 15th of October. Yeah, All absolutely. Right? Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Okay, now leave it to you. You make a decision. It's the 14th of October. All right, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.